All right, folks, welcome back. On today's episode of Bellatro Science, we've got another seeded run on the Ghost deck. If you want to know exactly what we're doing, you can check out the video thumbnail as sort of like a preview. Uh, otherwise, I don't want to say too much. Uh, you know, there could be some twists and some turns and some surprises, and so I don't want to give anything away. Um, I will say this seed I got from Murphy, who's playing it on his stream yesterday. It seemed like he was having a good time, so I wanted to try it out myself. In the first round here, I was able to figure out if I keep these eights, there's actually I can get a full house, eights and jacks. You know, not normally going for the full house in the first round here, but you know, since we this is a seeded run and we know what's coming, we can get the full house there. In the first shop, you know, oftentimes in a normal run, you're looking for something like this, you know, picking up an early plus molt joker with a misprint, turning it into polychrome with hex here. Actually, what I'm going to do is open the arcana pack because I know the arcana pack has a soul. And if I take the soul, it gives me percale. Not just percale, it gives me a holographic percale with a plus 10 molt already. And so I know we've done a lot of percale stuff in the past. Well, you know, if you want to do some really wacky stuff, this is part of what makes all of that possible. And I think also Perkeo is very um, versatile. You know, being able to copy any consumable that you want, you know, copying planet cards or tarot cards or, you know, the spectral cards. So, you know, we haven't done all that Perkeo can do. And so if, if you trust me again, I'm gonna, you know, try to show you something that you haven't seen before. Um, now, if we go next, Perkeo will give us a copy of the hex and the negative copy will sell for $4. So we can get $10 picking up $2 of interest here in the next round. Since we have the plus 10 molt on Perkeo, now we can, you know, very easily just win with two pair here. You know, we could dig further for other types of hands, but I'm just gonna stop at two pair. It's easy enough. All right, in the next shop here, here's something a little bit interesting. So if we go the buffoon pack, it's gonna cost me $4. And then I can pick up this rare Joker. Doesn't really matter what it is. What matters is it sells for $4. So I spend $4, I get $4. You know, normally not a big deal. But now if I open the Arcana pack, it's gonna have a Temperance for me. And so that hit the road, you know, the extra $4. This is now 15 instead of $11 for my Temperance. And I also wanna pick up this Hieroglyph. Now we go, it says anti zero here. And we can go next. All right, for the boss, now only 200 points because we went back in time. Uh, I'm going to sell hit the road. We don't need it anymore. And then also if I sell this hex, we can go up to $20 now picking up $4 worth of interest. Uh, 200 points we can do probably with a pair. I'm gonna play two pair instead. So something interesting about the, you know, these vouchers, the hieroglyph voucher and the petroglyph voucher. First, something I said in the past, you know, the way the shops work is within each ante, there is one list, there is one shop queue for that ante. And then, you know, however much you reroll, it just goes further and further in that queue until you switch to a different ante. When you pick up the vouchers, when you pick up these that change the ante number, that also changes the, you know, shopping RNG or whatever it is, or the shop queue. And so in the first or round or second round there, if we go minus one ante, it actually switches the shop to the ante zero shop queue. And if you reroll, you can progress through the ante zero queue if you want. Or you know, after picking up this hieroglyph, we went to zero and then now one again. And so the shop that you're gonna see now is what would have been if I just hit the reroll button in anti one. So we're still in the anti one shop queue. In anti one, next we've got an invisible joker and then also we have a buffoon pack here. So, you know, instead of picking up the hieroglyph voucher, if we had just hit the reroll button, we would have seen this invisible joker, but we might not have had enough money for all of this stuff. Uh, this voucher wouldn't be there, the telescope. 
that is you know one of the uses one of the benefits of the hieroglyph and petroglyph voucher is when you take them you get another ante and so you get another voucher and sometimes that's very important you know you're limited to one voucher per ante and so that can be you know really worth it you know some things that money can't buy like vouchers all right but now what we can do um, in this buffoon pack this buffoon pack actually has a brainstorm brainstorm able to copy our percao we can pick up invisible joker here and then okay you can start to see you know after a couple rounds we're going to be able to get another copy of at least one of these and then in the spectral pack here we could go for ectoplasm uh getting a negative joker i'm gonna hold off on this i'm not ready to have the minus one hand size and there is other ectoplasm that will show up later in the run so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this queen and then make it a gold seal and then we can go next all right so now that i have all of these hex copies um, i can sell them four dollars each Takes me up to $25 now, so we'll get the maximum amount of interest. And then in the next shop, I'll be able to pick up some other consumable to copy. All right, here I picked the queen because I know the queen is gonna be in my opening hand. Uh, the only thing I need to do now is dig for, you know, maybe some more diamonds to make this flush happen. Okay, so that seems pretty straightforward so far. All right, the only thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pick up this Pluto. I'm not gonna open these Celestial Packs um, and I'm not gonna tell you why yet. You'll see. So here we've got Pluto. We can make a couple copies here and then go next. In this round, we could think about, you know, here I've got sevens and fives. I think if I go sevens and tens, this two pair with the plus 10 for per KO, I think this already wins. What I'm gonna do instead is discard like this and then play this straight. So in the shop, the shop has the 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 shop has the telescope. And so, you know, something that I'm thinking about is, you know, what is my most played hand going to be? And trying to spread out my hands play. So if we go look over here, I've already played two pair twice. If I play, if I keep playing two pair, that's gonna be my most played hand for a while and I don't want that to happen. So I've played here, you know, we did one flush. We started with one full house. And then so there, instead of going for two pair or another flush, I went for a straight here. And then we could pick up the telescope. So, you know, for the telescope, just trying to spread out my hands. And then that's all that I'm gonna purchase here. I'm not opening this Arcana pack. We're just gonna save our money and go next. All right, in the next round here, if we, you know, we could go like this, we could discard for hearts, we could uh, discard for diamonds if we want. What I'm gonna do instead of discarding, um, I'm actually just gonna play these five cards. And so the reason for that is playing the five cards instead of discarding the cards is another way of digging deeper in the deck. And then now if I discard, maybe one more time. There we go. So that's my uh, gold seal queen showing up there. If I use all my discards instead of playing the hand, we don't get the queen, we don't dig deep enough. And so by burning the one hand, I'm able to find the queen, I'm able to make up three extra dollars. Um, I will say, uh, you know, not everything in this run is like that deeply super optimized, um, but at least with this early stuff, you know, I just wanna get the ball rolling. And so I'm trying to, you know, figure out how to get every dollar that I can. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep discarding to complete my flush. There we go, a flush with this queen here. Uh, sorry, just let me check the notes here. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah. All right, so we're now at the stage where Invisible Joker, we can sell it and get a copy. 
gives us a copy of Perkeo, which is actually pretty good for us because we have, it's holographic, we have the extra plus 10 molt. Um, you know, technically speaking, Brainstorm is probably better because it's more versatile. You can copy Perkeo and also copy other stuff, but I'm not mad about this either. So we'll go next. You know, I'm just, I'm happy to have Invisible Joker at all. And so, you know, even though we took the Hieroglyph and we, you know, went back in time and got an extra anti, this is technically anti two. Technically, we only passed anti one. And after anti one, we already have three copies of Perkeo. We've got a bunch of these negative Plutos if we want. All right, in the shop here, I'm going to go Jumbo Special first. All right, we could pick up a rare Joker, but I'm not interested in losing my money here. So I think the obvious pick for us is Immolate, of course. We end up with a nice amount of money. We can go Spectral Pack again. And once again here, reiterating, you know, with the Ectoplasm here, I'm not ready to give up the hand size and, you know, I don't need to because I, you know, have the, the only the three Jokers right now anyway. We'll find more Ectoplasm later. Um, we'll just make a red seal we can make a red seal king here so oftentimes what we're trying to do is you know do like mime and baron stuff or you know sock and buskin with uh, idol stuff you know if you've seen my Bellatra invitational content you know that kind of scoring technology we're always going for kings um and kings of hearts possibly for the bloodstone though i was betrayed for those who know the lore i was betrayed by the bloodstone all right, uh, I will pick up the clown here. The clown gives me the cheaper rerolls. I'm gonna roll one, two, three, four, five times. And then now, so remember we skipped all of those celestial packs, we skipped the arcana pack because here's a fool and this fool is gonna copy our temperance. And so that's why I didn't wanna use any of these Plutos. I didn't wanna use any um, other consumables so that I can make sure that this fool gives me a copy of temperance and already temperance worth $30 because we have, uh, you know, these holographic percaos here. So, you know, for the purposes of making money, um, you know, twice the value of a brainstorm here. So Invisible Joker copying percao is not bad at all. And then once we've got the, let's see here, we did the full, okay, let's take the Drunkard. Drunkard just, you know, giving us the access to the discards, making it easier for us to find our gold card, if that's what we want to do. I'm going to reroll two more times. All right, so I'm out of money here, so I need to sell one of these Plutos so I can roll just one more time. And then now this Temperance, I want to make as many copies as possible, so I'm going to use the Plutos just to get them out of here. All right, kind of weird, you know, normally what I suggest is kind of spread out your rerolls. Don't do too many rerolls in the same shop, though here demonstrating, you know, we did a bunch of rerolls. Here's why. So if we go into the next round, picking up our temperances here, we have this. We have a negative tag. And normally I suggest, okay, well, don't skip for negative tags because you just get a random you know, common joker, and it's not very likely to help you. You know, sometimes it does, but it's not very likely to help you. Or if it does help you, it doesn't help you forever. You know, it gets outpaced by other stuff that you're doing. So I say, you know, generally speaking, don't do that. However, in this instance, I know it's coming. I could see the future. So I'm gonna take the negative tag here and then go next. Now you might be thinking, okay, well, if we skip here, you know, we should consider, okay, well, how much value are we missing out on? We have three copies of Perkeo, giving us three copies of Temperance, $30 each. You know, maybe if we have some different Jokers, it could be like $35 each. So if I skip here, I'm missing $100 worth of value. What possible, you know, what Joker, what negative could be worth $100? All right, let's go next and find out. All right, so I do... You know, I've only got the $2 in the bank now, so I am gonna use one of these temperances just so that we can get uh, money in the bank for interest. And now, if I discard like this, I can get another full house. And so, like I said, you know, for the purposes of this telescope voucher, now we've got two flushes, uh, two pair twice, and we've got a full house twice. Here we go. 
Um, I do know here, you know, you could try looking for the queen, the gold queen, the gold seal queen, but if we dig, it ended up not coming up. So I feel fine just playing the um, full house there. And then in the shop, this is what we did it for. So if you're playing on a seeded run, if you're playing on a seeded run and you have a negative tag shows up, um, you can control what joker it lands on. It just lands on whatever the next joker in the shop is. And so you scout out the ante, you scout out the shop, you reroll a bunch of times into the future to see what shows up in the future and then figure out what is the appropriate place to stop. Picking up the negative gift card here allows us to grow the value of all of our jokers, grow the value of our temperances. Maybe we can, you know, we've demonstrated in the past how powerful the egg is in combination with temperance. And this is basically the same technology. Since it's a negative, I get to hold on to this forever. So that's, could be worth more than, in the long term, could be worth more than the $100 that we missed out on just now. Actually, let's see here. If it gains like, you know, plus six every round right times three temperances so that makes plus eighteen dollars for the first three or four rounds or something like that all right i'm gonna open the spectral pack and already you know he's gonna take immolate you know normally trying to make as many kings as possible but you know losing a king there is fine um generally speaking we always want to have as few cards in the deck as possible or few enough cards so you know you want to trim down to something like uh, 15 or 25 cards depending on what you're going for you don't want to have no cards in the deck all right let's do a little bit of re-rolling here so again I kind of know there are some things you know in the shop that I'm looking for and so I got to re-roll for them so there's one two three Six re-rolls takes us to Immolate. And so if I use all these Temperances, we'll get more Temperance later, don't stress about it, but we can take Immolate here and we can start removing cards from the deck. Actually, we can remove a lot of cards from the deck. And so what I demonstrated before with the Immolates is if you have exactly hand size five, if you use you know the the correct number of ectoplasms or whatever it is two ectoplasms right minus one hand size minus two hand size gets you down to exactly five then using immolate when you have no cards left in your hand it'll automatically redraw however here if we use immolate we do end up with three cards here and if i want to use another immolate i have to redraw first so i'm going to play this queen to give me the redraw And we can see here already, you know, with all of the upgrades, uh, the high card here, we've got half the number of points that we need. I'm gonna use another Immolate. Um, you know, these all face down here, but I know it's safe. And then this one here, I'm going to discard to get the redraw. Use another Immolate and discard this queen. So I'm just discarding the queen so that I can save it from being destroyed. And then also these kings here, discard them to save them. We can use our last immolate here, discard for the redraw, and then now, well bam, we got 20 cards in the deck. That's basically, that's as much immolation as I wanna do. Uh, I think we've got done with the card removal. Now we'll focus on you know picking up things like death cards to get copies of cards. Uh, we can end here with a high card, no problem. All right, here's the technology. So, you know, we've done in the past with Perkeo, we've gone for different flavors of high score. We've done, you know, the high score where you get all of the re-trigger jokers, you know, uh, idle, ancient joker, sock and busk and hack, you know, those re-trigger jokers. Uh, we've done the, the held in hand build where you've got the Baron and the Mime. The thing that I want to do differently this time is, okay, what if we do this? What if you do the observatory, get all the planet cards, you get X mult for each planet card. And so, you know, with Perkeo giving us extra bunch of copies of the Pluto cards, how big can we get our score? How high can we go with just plutonium power? 
that's what I'm interested in doing. Um, I did this a little bit on a random seed. You know, I started out on a seed that had the observatory and I transitioned into something else that I felt was more powerful. However, on this set seed, you know, maybe I can optimize this a little bit better than when it was on a random seed. So I'm going to take the voucher. Now I'm just looking to make as many Pluto cards as possible. Uh, let's reroll twice here because I've got medium to make more purple seals. And then I'll open the Arcana pack after rerolling. That way I can use my purple seal. So here's a purple queen. And this fool once again is going to give me temperance. Uh, in the Celestial pack here, uh, we have the telescope, right? And we have the observatory. And so if we go to our poker hands here, because I played everything exactly two times, my high card three times, that's my most played hand. If I wanted to, I could do this in the opposite order. I could open the Celestial pack first and I could use the Fool in the Arcana pack to give me a uh, Pluto card instead of a temperance card but what I want to do is like early on get some temperances to get some money in the bank and then start making Pluto cards and then that way I have the money for later later rerolls so I'm gonna do it in this order and if I reroll just one more time there's a Baron that shows up um, long term long term this is not the plan long term I'm not trying to do stuff that we've done before you know with a bunch of uh, kings held in hand, but short term I am going to pick up the Baron here and then go next. So now $40 temperances. All right, we can go. I want to look for here's my purple seals. I have two purple seals, right? No, that's just my one purple seal. Okay. Um, purple seal, tower. I'm gonna discard here, picking up. So there are my kings. I can turn this ace into stone if I want. And I'm just gonna keep holding these temperances so that I can keep making copies. And then they're gonna keep getting more value each round. So the longer I hold on to them, the more valuable they become. Here's my high card. All right, so in this ante, in ante three, the thing that I'm looking for is, uh, what is it, like 10 re-rolls deep total. And so in the first shop, we did three rolls. In this shop, we'll do three rolls. And then in the third shop, we'll do three rolls. And then I'll take us to the end point that I'm looking for, at least for this shop queue. So first thing I want to do, we can go Celestial here. We know it gives us more plutonium. We can re-roll one, two, three times. And then in the spectral pack. So here again, we have the opportunity we could get a negative here at the cost of minus one hand size. You know, there is the chance. I think if you do this, we get the negative clown, which is not what I want. And I don't really want to sell the clown either. So again, I'm going to say, you know, we're, we're going to keep holding on the ectoplasm there's more ectoplasm in the future you know we've already passed three of them you could you could trust me that there's more in the future um what i'm gonna do instead here's something that's like kind of niche here so you know the boss here's the club's debuff it's going to debuff our queen here so we don't get the purple seal so actually what i'm going to do is i take the sigil here turns it into hearts and then now it's safe for the boss um you know, not a huge difference there, but there's nothing else in the spectral pack that we needed anyway. All right, after doing that, we can safely just go to the next round. All right, in the next round here, I'm just digging for my purple card. Maybe takes a few tries. There we go, so we've got the purple queen. Um, I don't have any other kind of enhanced cards on the deck, so I'm just gonna discard the one card. And it gives us a fool. And so now we have the option. Okay, well, we can use temperance and then copy it with fool and keep making temperance cards if we want slash need the money. Um, I think that we don't. And so what we're going to do instead, 
I'm gonna go ahead and use this fool for the Pluto. And then from this point forward, you know, we already have, I don't know, like 500 bucks or something like that. From this point on, we'll, we'll switch to generating as many Pluto cards as we can. You know, if we wanna try to get as many as possible. And then so after getting the Pluto card, I can just play this to end. All right, Celestial Pack here for more Plutonium. Reroll one, two, three times. This is what I was looking for. So in this ante, if you reroll up to 10 times, we get some Potassium. And so obviously we get rid of the Baron here. I said, you know, we've done that in the past and we're gonna do something a little bit different. So instead of Baron, we'll pick up the Potassium here. All right, um, after that, I want to start copying my Plutos, so we'll use all the Temperances. $50 each, boom. And go next. All right, if you want, we can move the banana on the left so that Brainstorm can copy the banana. I'm not 100%. I'm not 100% convinced that it matters, but you know, why not? Um, I will use this Pluto just, you know, the normal one instead of the negative ones so that I can get the extra consumable slot. And let's discard like this, just trying to dig for my gold card or my gold seal card. Um, if I want, I can use this Priestess. And I'm actually gonna hold on to these planets. If I wait to sell them, the gift card actually increases their value. By the way, you know another thing that's like really cool about, you know, doing the observatory, you know, holding on to the planet cards, the gift card makes all of your planets worth more. And then all of the copies, they retain their sell value. It's an exact copy. And so, you know, we can get to a point where each Pluto sells for 20 or $30, you know, makes up for, you know, instead of having all of these temperances, we just have Plutos that we can sell in the future. So that's, you know, an additional reason why the gift card as a negative is very important to me. All right, now I just want to, I guess, dig for, like I said, that gold seal card. Maybe like this, there's the gold seal. All right, here what I'm looking for, um, I'm gonna do a large-ish number of re-rolls. So let's go hone first. One, two, three. There's a showman. Showman's gonna allow us to get copies, you know, maybe a copy of Brainstorm. We can't find copies of Percao, not easily anyway, not unless we have a soul card. All right, we got the showman. Uh, we can go If I reroll nine times, here's our boy. It's our guy, it's the hallucination. And so maybe now, instead of the $5 per round value from the clown, we can get this. We can give the tarot value from the hallucination. We're able to copy it with a brainstorm. And so increase our chances of getting more tarot cards. Now let's make some room. And so, you know, here waiting on the booster packs until after I find the hallucination. And now that I have, Let's go Celestial. All right, it just gives me a plus one dollar here. If I go Buffoon, also gives me plus one dollar here. So, you know, there the hits are not great, but you know, you sort of have to go through the motions because, you know, later on in the ante, if we get these kind of stinkers out of the way, there'll be better tarot cards later from our hallucination. Or at least that's the theory. We just want to make sure that we keep moving it around so that Brainstorm is copying Perkeo when we end here. All right, generally speaking, just discard looking for the purple seal. There it is. Now looking for the gold seal to end. Um, if you want, we can pick up the 20 bucks right away from the Hermit. Four cards left in the deck, so I'm gonna discard these four. 
We don't have to keep the kings, keep holding on to the kings because the Baron is gone now. I just, I'm used to it. I do it out of habit now. Um, here's the gold seal. All right, now what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna open the booster pack so we can generate the tarot cards. So we get a death card, that's great. Um, I want to hold on to this so I can copy my purple seal. Um, I'm gonna open the other booster pack as well. This is not something that I need, so I'm just gonna sell it right away. And we don't need anything from this booster pack. So let's move the hallucination and then do a little bit of re-rolling. We do have an option here if you wanted, we could sell the hallucination and get an extra gift card. And then so, you know, grow the value of our cards faster. You know, if you get 20 Plutos or if you have 40 Plutos, then this is plus $40 every round. Maybe that's faster, more compelling than the hallucination. I think I'd rather, or you know, what I was decided was I'd rather have the extra tarot cards for the deck manipulation rather than just the extra raw money. And I, you know, I know exactly how much money that I need. And so I don't need more. Um, I can just keep re-rolling if I want. Uh, there's a hermit that we can use. And if we re-roll four more times, there's a death card. All right, so now we got two death cards here. Um, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't hate it if Perkeo gave us copies of Death, but it's also okay if it doesn't. Here, it just gives us more copies of Pluto and that's completely fine. All right, in the next round, I wanna find my purple card. Now that I've found it, let's make some copies. So these two here, we can go Death. Six of Hearts, Death again. And then now just discarding, looking for my um, purple or my gold seal. So here's discarding five for two tarot cards. All right. Um, judgment. I don't need. And then let's see here. I have all of my enhanced cards already. So I'm just going to discard the one card giving me a hangman. Hangman, I can remove the four and the two. And then play the gold card for the money. All right, now if we want, we can get rid of the Hierophant. Also check out this. Uh, <laughs> another of my favorite jokers, I really love the art on the ramen, you know, the levitating noodles and of course, in the polychrome here looks beautiful unfortunately you know not really what we're going for so you know just admire it while it lasts all right after taking care of business here let's go make sure we're copying our hallucination that way we can go uh, buffoon pack first we get a moon okay pass and then the standard pack next uh, judgment we don't need this sixth though, I am interested in. So, you know, normally we wanna go all kings, but since we're not doing the Baron, it doesn't matter what flavor our cards are. So um, it's okay if we take the six here because it's gold and it's a red seal. So it's gonna get the re-trigger gold. It's pretty good. All right, now after picking that up, I am going to roll eight times. Poly or, uh, polychrome bloodstone as well. Um, don't look at that. Don't think about that. All right. What I want is this. I want the ectoplasm. And so I said I was waiting, waiting to use the ectoplasm. Now we're good. We got rid of the clown. And so instead of getting a negative clown, what's going to happen here is I'm going to get a negative showman allowing me to get more copies without taking up space. That's perfect. So, you know, in this ante we had to, uh, ectoplasm is in, you know, shop number 30 or something like that. So spreading out our rerolls, 10 rerolls per shop-ish, and then go next. 
All right, in the next round here, um, let's discard five so that we can try to dig for more purples. We've got a death card, so if you want, we can make another one right here. All right, let's discard like this, I guess, or maybe we can throw an extra queen here. Uh, like I said, we don't need to be holding on to the kings, right? Okay, so we can go... I have a chariot and I have a death card. So I could make this king, this red king, into steel. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this purple queen into steel. And then make a copy of it. So, you know, I was going to copy the purple seal anyway, so it might as well be steel if I'm going to copy it. Um, we can, you know, with the tarot cards, we can get more chariots and then make this into steel later. Also, it's okay that these are purple steel. You know, most of the time you're discarding them for tarot cards, but later on, theoretically, you could use them for scoring later. Right now, we don't need the scoring, so it's okay if we discard them. Um, let's discard like this. Um, I want to hold on to the gold card here. And then, like I said, we have the chariot. We can use the hangman to remove the seven and the two here. And then now, if you wanted, we could make a steel king. And then here's that red seal gold card giving us the re-triggered six dollars here. Plenty of points. Because we got all this plutonium stockpile all right so this is kind of spicy anti five now we have the brainstorm so if i pick up the brainstorm here now i have three copies of hallucination um copying hallucination now we'll go arcana first all right arcana has priestess we can use and just get rid of these planet cards that we don't really need we can use the since it's a mega arcana I'm going to use Emperor first. Again, more planets here from the Priestess. Priestess gives us Pluto. And then I'm going to end with Temperance for 50 bucks. All right, after all that, we can go pick up this Spectral Pack. Gives me a couple of towers here and so I will be making a few more stone cards so here maybe a five we can turn into stone uh, the Queens don't matter so I'll make this Queen into stone as well and then to finish up here uh, I want to make another purple card so how about a purple King all right so we're done with the hallucination now no re-rolls so i know in anti-5 you know i did do some re-rolling i did do some scouting and i know that there's nothing that i need so i'm just going to save all of my re-roll money for a future anti when there is the good stuff all right now now what do we do now it gets complicated right so let's discard like this we want to discard two purples and we don't need the steel card, so we can just discard. All right, if I want, I can turn this six into stone. So we've got, you know, a couple more stone cards in the deck. Um, I can go one, two, three, four, five. I don't need the stone cards right now. I'm gonna hold on to the steel card. All right, uh, this gold card, since we're gonna be playing it all the time, might as well make it lucky. And we can sell the judgment here because we're just gonna pick up more tarot cards by discarding. And these, again, I'm not gonna sell them right away because the gift card's gonna make them worth more money. I can just play here to end. We didn't get the $20 this time, but you know, in the future, why not? All right, in the shop now, we'll go ahead and get rid of these tarot cards, $2 each. 
Uh, we'll go, these Celestial Packs are the same, so they're kind of interchangeable, doesn't matter which one we buy. Moon, we don't need more Plutonium. Sun, we don't need, and then another Pluto. Um, and then that's it. Like I said, there's nothing that we want to reroll for, so we'll just go next. Um, and the next round here, you know, the same kind of game here, you know, discarding the purple cards for the tarot cards. All right, this time, Hierophant and Star I don't need. I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then four. All right, strength here if I want it. Um, before I use the strength card, actually I'm gonna sell the justice card to make room and I'm just gonna discard this one queen here. Um, I'm going to, since I have three cards left in the deck, I'm going to discard these two stone cards. There we go. So now if I want, I can use this strength card and I'm gonna turn these queens into kings. They don't have to be kings, but they don't have to be queens either, so they might as well be kings. And then with the strength card, or sorry, with the death card, let's make another copy of a purple one. So here, maybe we'll get rid of the Jack of Diamonds. All right, and then that's it for this round, so we can go ahead and play the gold card. Okay, we want to go hallucination. Let's go Arcana first. So Arcana is going to give us strength that we can use. And so I'm going to use the strength on the steel cards. So, you know, between the two uh, booster packs, I wanted to do the Arcana pack first because it gives me the strength and I can use it right away as opposed to doing the buffoon pack first. Then once I have this, um, I'm gonna make a gold card. Might as well be a gold king. It's okay that it's purple and gold, so sometimes you discard it for a tarot card. But you know, when we get death cards and we wanna make copies of stuff, then when we copy a purple card, we might as well copy a purple gold card at the same time. Here, buffoon pack also. Just to cycle through the tarot cards, you know, get this one out of the way so that we can keep digging for more tarot cards. All right, after all that, I'm going to finally buy this. So we're waiting on the petroglyph because if I buy this earlier, if I buy this last round or the previous round, the minus one discard means less tarot cards per round, right? If I have all of my purple seals, I get less tarot cards. I do still want this because you know, this is going to then, you know, give us more time to build, give us more Pluto cards. Also, extra ante is an extra voucher. So, buy the petroglyph here, and then go next. All right, against the boss, let's discard these purple seals. All right, star and judgment we don't need. And I'm gonna discard like this. So I know these are stone cards. I actually know that this is, you know, another king here. This is the king of spades here. I'm looking for my gold seal. All right, so we're out of discards. So only two discards instead of three discards now. Um, I can hold these tarot cards and go like this you know already up to like 24 24 pluto cards all right now right away we sell the tarot cards um between the two of these i know i want to go arcana pack first All right, Arcana pack is gonna have, I have a chariot here and I have a hermit. So, you know, I can go steal here if I want. Then hermit, 
then Hermit again. And then we'll go Standard Pack. Alright, this is just nothing that I need, so we'll skip. Uh, we will take the voucher for the discounted reroll cost. That's going to be, of course, very important in the future. We will do some rerolling, though not currently. So in Anti-5, we didn't want to do any rerolling because there was nothing in Anti-5 that we wanted. When we take the Petroglyph voucher, it takes us back in time. And so this is still the same Anti-5 shop queue. And so again, there's nothing in Anti-5 that I want to reroll for. So actually, I'm just going to go next. 28. That's a decent pile of plutonium there. All right, now let's think about. Um, I'm gonna get rid of these stone cards just to dig. Uh, how about we discard like this, or how about we discard like this? Um, that way we can hold on to the gold card, maybe. All right, we do get. Here's a hangman, so I can remove the jack and the seven. And I have a choice here. I have a choice, either hold on to the gold card for the three bucks or discard it for a random tarot card. Uh, remembering that if I do go for the tarot card now, then that's, you know, one less tarot card in the future. Or sorry, I, you know, it removes it from the queue, right? It just gets us one further into the queue. And so we get the good stuff one earlier if I get the extra tarot card here. So I'm going to go ahead and discard here. Um, the other stuff that I discard doesn't matter. I don't need the stone necessarily. All right, this other stuff here, I'm going to hold those for the gift card value and just play like this. All right, in the next round here, again, move the hallucination. Let's make some room. Uh, again, these are both jumbo arcana, so the order doesn't matter. All right, in the first one here, I have an opportunity if I want to make a gold card. So how about, you know, this... If I'm going to be discarding the purple seals, then maybe I turn this other queen into gold and then we can use the priestess for some more cards to sell and there isn't really anything in here that i want necessarily so i could skip if i want i could make a lucky card but you know i'm not going to be able to play it or i'm not going to be planning on playing it anyway so i'm just going to skip and then now in the other arcana pack we get no tarot cards from our hallucination <laughs> Of course, uh, but we, what we can do is we can take the Emperor here. Tower we don't need anymore. We have you know plenty of stone cards. Emperor again. Yeah, one thing that's like kind of interesting about the Showman. So normally Emperor cannot give you another Emperor because of the duplicate rule. But if you have Showman, Emperor can give you more Emperors. It is like kind of interesting. Um, otherwise, you know, we just sell here to make room and make sure we're copying our Pluto cards when we go next. All right, here I'm thinking about discarding like this. So get the purple cards in there. I do pick up another hangman and so now now I'm getting to the point where maybe we remove the stone cards. You know, getting down to 15 cards. You know, we only have the two discards, so, you know, it's hard-ish for us to dig through our whole deck to see all of the cards. All right, let's finish up with gold. Uh, five billion, five and a half billion points because of all this plutonium stockpiled. Get rid of these worlds. 
yeah kind of sad that this bootstraps doesn't have the it doesn't tell you you know bull tells you how much chips it gives you bootstraps does not um if you didn't already know that's going to be one of the ui updates in the uh in the next patch next patch coming up um let's see here how about if i go standard pack all right this is very important though maybe it's not going to be obvious why at first but uh if i use this wheel here i get a foil uh, hallucination and so you know if I use ectoplasm in the future ectoplasm gives us a negative of course um, on a random joker now that this is foil this cannot be turned into negative it'll only land on you know these brainstorms here that I have um, so we can skip and we can go into the standard pack for more wheels so let's go ahead and do that um, though I know this one doesn't work, but then, you know, it gets us further into the queue. So I know there's a, a future wheel which will work, but it only works if I use this one now. All right. Um, after that, there's, again, an anti five. There's nothing that I'm shopping for, so I'm just going to go next. All right, this is it for anti five. Let's discard I'm trying to figure out maybe discard this red seal still all right these I don't need um, I can make here you know trying to decide whether or not I should discard this for another tarot card here it's better to just take the money so I'm gonna go gold seal here and not discard. Um, I shouldn't have sold that tarot card because of the gift card. It's a one dollar difference, it's not gonna matter. But it does m make me a little bit sad. The uh, minus one hand size got us there a little bit. We weren't able to find more purple. Alright, now that we're in anti six. There's still nothing that I want to reroll for. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Uh, so let's go pick up the boss reroll voucher. We can make some room and then go Arcana. All right, Devil and Justice here or Fool for Wheel of Fortune. I want the wheel, so I'm just gonna sell both of these. All right, let's pick up the wheel. Um, we can go, let's see here. Uh, yeah, if we go wheel, now we have a holographic brainstorm. And I think we don't need any of this, so we'll just skip. All right, in the buffoon pack, All right, we get, uh, it's getting, you know, once there's a ton of these, once there's like a hundred of these, it's very hard to pick them out. Um, but we can go, we can sell the devil. Sorry, I gotta look ahead in my notes. I gotta think about, uh, buh, buh, buh. yeah, sell the devil here. You can use the priestess. All right, that's it for this shop, so we can go next. We did pick up the boss reroll voucher, so here normally, you know, the psychic here, you gotta play five cards. That kind of stinks if you're uh, doing the high card stuff, so we'll just reroll it, no problem. And then this is perfectly fine. Cards played previously debuffed. We only play one card at a time, right? All right, in the next round here, I'm thinking about um, let's discard like this. So here I have the fool. Could potentially give me another wheel if I, you know, didn't use the priestess, but it's okay because actually what I want to do here is I want to make um, these queens into gold. More gold cards. 
And then after that, I'm going to discard like this. All right, that's it. So I can hold on to these. I can play the gold card. All right, next we make some room here. This stuff will go small one first. I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because we have the uh, the telescope voucher. Sell the devil and the lovers. I will say, um, you know, as I was routing this, as I was plotting this, my notes, you know, you get to a certain point where stuff doesn't, certain things don't matter as much anymore. And so my notes get very, very terse, very brief. Um, and so it's, you know, I gotta at least still think about a little bit what I'm doing. Um, but otherwise, you know, no more rerolls here. We're making sure, or we're ensuring that our brainstorms are copying pre -KO. Let's go next. All right, in the next round here, discard two purples and this nine I don't need. Um, I could use strength if I want to. So maybe, how about this? These two kings, I'm gonna turn them into aces. So, you know, theoretically there could be in the future, actually I know in the future there's the uh, debuff all of the face cards and so it's safer if we just turn them all into aces. And that's what I'm gonna try to do. Not right this second, but eventually. Uh, use temperance after. And so if there's a fool, you know, maybe it copies the temperance, though I know a fool is not gonna come up. Um, not anytime soon anyway. Um, I need to discard two. So how about these two? And if we want a wheel here, that's a nope. That's okay. I am realizing with the routing there was an opportunity to turn this king into gold. Um, and I didn't. It's not going to matter super much. Um, but it's going to cost me like, I don't know, $15 or something total. Let's go standard packs, just for tarot cards. Um, yeah, so here if I want, eh, if I want, and maybe I don't want anymore, maybe it's too annoying to do this, but uh, yeah, manipulating the cards gets really annoying. All right, so that's that. Uh, we can go ahead and proceed to the boss round. All right, for the boss, I want to discard these and I can discard like this. So there's eight cards left in the deck. We get to see basically the whole deck. Um, I have a death opportunity here. So how do we want to do it? Uh, let's take these kings and let's turn them into aces. And then I'm gonna turn this stone card into not just gold, but also purple. And then now I'm gonna discard, there's three cards left in the deck, right? So I wanna get this, I wanna get the red seal six, cause that's gonna be worth six bucks. So uh, let's discard um, here. How about, wait, I want to discard Ace of Hearts, Queen of Hearts, Ace of Diamonds, yeah. Actually, I could discard this. So this was supposed to be a gold card, but it's not a gold card, so I could just discard it. Uh-oh, we're, we're diverging from the path here, but uh, I, think, I think it's gonna be fine. I think we'll be all right. 
uh, steel and sun we don't need anymore uh, we could play this even though it's debuffed we won't get any money from this but we'll still get you know all these gold cards here Okay, ignore this, <laughs> don't look at this. All right, let's uh, go sell some stuff and go baby arcana first. We get a death card here and so if I want, I can make another six because then that's gonna be gold and then give me more money. Then let's go Jumbo. All right, this uh, Priestess. Two Neptune cards. All right, and then in here, if I want, I could use a Death card, but maybe now I have enough, you know, purple seals and I have enough gold cards that I just take the money here. All right, and we take the voucher as well. You know, not that we need the extra hand. All right, um, let's just do some checking here, check the notes. Uh, yeah, anti seven, anti five, six, seven, none of those, no re-rolling necessary. We just go next. Keep stockpiling plutonium. All right, play one hand type boss is not an issue. All right, let's discard. Oh, now things are different. Uh, let's discard like this. Okay, that's fine. Let's discard... I want to say... These. And... This. Maybe like this. There's... I think I'm supposed to do this. Now I'm not sure. So I only have one discard left, right? What do I want to do? I want to... There's going to be a death card that I want to use. So I'm going to discard like this. I believe that's correct. Great. So if I want... I can go use the fool first. Eh. Oh, there it is. Use the fool first. Then use the death card to copy this ace. There we go. Then use the hermit. Cool. Now we have the extra gold card and we have the extra purple card. Okay, so far so good, team. All right, copy the hallucination. Let's go standard pack first. Uh, the order doesn't matter. Um, we can sell the justice and I'm gonna use another wheel. This is good. This is what I wanted. Now I've got holographic, now I've got foil, brainstorm. Buffoon gives us lovers that we don't need. And that's it. All right. Now what? I have two discards. And so if I want to see all of my cards, then I've got to discard eight times. Or sorry, four cards. So I don't know, maybe like this or like this. I'm going to discard like this. All right, so I'm going to use the Hermit, sell the sun. Discard, here's two more purples. I don't need this king. Perfect, just like that. All right, perfect. So 
We can go Temperance, hold on to the Sun to sell it, play the Ace. Let's go Celestial first. Uh, Priestess. More Plutonium. Of course. Uh, standard. We just sell the tower. We don't need any of this. And then that's it. Go next. You know, not terribly complicated. What I want to do is discard my steel cards and then this will give me an opportunity that says there's going to be a death card. So let's start by discarding these. Okay. Next thing I want to do, let's see, I want to discard this, get rid of the king, get rid of the queen here. All right, so what do I want to do with this hangman? That's the question. Well, um, and what do I want to do with the death card? So how about this? How about this queen can be an ace and then these two I can hang and then play like this. So if we take a peek here, now we've got the five aces of diamonds. All right, we're almost there. We're actually very close to it. So, anti-eight is where it starts to get wacky. You know, you've seen a lot of these bananas, right? So how about this? How about we go, sorry, let me stretch. All right, let's go Celestial first. Clear this out. High card level 19, uh, Mega next. We can go, if you want to be careful about it, we can try to grab eh, the world, sell it. That way we can use the Emperor. Uh, we don't need the devil here. We can use the priestess. Uh, we don't need these things either. We can use the Pluto now. Actually, since this is a mega pack, uh, the reason why I open them in that order, the small one and then the mega one, because there's a Pluto that's guaranteed from the telescope, and then there's a second Pluto that shows up. And by opening the mega pack second, I was able to get two Plutos here. You know, at this point, that hardly matters, but it is kind of neat. These kind of like micro op optimizations that show up here and there. Um, now it's time. So now hallucination has done a lot of great work for us. Uh, you know, I keep saying, I say this every time I see him, one of my favorite jokers. Uh, but now it's time to bet on banana. It's time to go all in starting here. And now start re-rolling. So anti eight is where the juice is. So let's re-roll 11 times. Okay, I believe I did that correctly. So, you know, if we check here with the vouchers, we've got the, uh, the re-roll surplus is, the first one is $3. And so if it says $14, I mean 11 times, three plus 11 is 14 is how many, 11 is how many times we've re-rolled. One, you know, kind of neat thing about getting rid of the hallucination is I don't have to juggle my jokers anymore. I can just leave it locked in like this. All right, the boss here forces a card to be selected is not the end of the world, but it is at least one layer of annoying. You know, if I'm trying to, you know, discard very 
particular cards or I'm trying to use a tarot card if I get a death card or something. Um, I want to play the gold card as my final, you know, high card hand or whatever. So I'm just going to re-roll it. And then this boss is a, a total non-issue. All right, now we can discard these. So what is the fool? The fool is more Pluto if I want it. That's okay. So let's... Do I want this strength card? Hmm. Yeah, let's go Pluto. And then I don't need the strength card. I'm just going to sell it. All right. Um, next, let's discard these two aces. All right. Tower and world we don't need. We'll just play this ace here. Sorry, I should have discarded this king as well. Uh, like I said, the... Uh, it's not going to matter that much, but we are a little bit off course here as far as like, you know, optimizing each round. What What's going to matter the most is just the shopping is what matters the most. Also, once we get later on, I didn't write down any of the routing at all um, because, you know, we could probably figure it out on the fly, I'm pretty sure. All right. In... Shop number two now. There's another hallucination. Uh, let's go ahead and the booster packs, the order doesn't matter anymore. So let's go Celestial. Wait, that's a... Uh... Celestial first, Arcana second. Uh, if I want, I'm going to, maybe this is a little bit weird, but I'm going to remove the sixes. And so, you know, in the future, I'm going to use Ectoplasm. I'm going to get the minus hand size. And so I want to make sure that my deck is all purples all of these aces, the purple aces. So I'm gonna remove these sixes. They've, they've done their work, they've done a great job, but uh, we don't need them anymore. And what we do now is we roll another 11 times. Okay. I'm just trusting my past self to have written it down correctly. <laughs> All right, let's uh, discard two. Um, actually, I'm gonna discard discard the gold ones. Yeah, because now we've got Hangman and Death, and so if I want, probably, let's. I'm gonna convert these. Well, yeah, I'm gonna convert these with death. I'm gonna hang the steel ones and then uh, maybe discard like this. So we get a little less money here, but that's okay. Uh, do I want to remove one of these aces? Eh. I'm at the point where I no longer care about holding onto the tarot cards for the uh, the gift card. I'm just gonna do this, and then do this. Here's where the action happens. Let's go Celestial for more Plutonium. And reroll looks like 12 times.
Nice. There we go. Now we've got the technology. We can do this. Boom. Banana. <laughs> um, unfortunately, there's nothing else in this ante that I want to reroll for, so I'm just going to go next. Okay. 72 Pluto cards. Um, we can discard the aces. Uh, Devil I don't want. Temperance. I'm going to go ahead and use. That way I can discard for more. Alrighty. Um, I'm at the point where maybe I don't need any more of the tarot cards. So I'm thinking about whether or not I want to... You know, use this priestess or not. Yeah, I'm just going to hold on to these and I'm going to play this. Nice. Alright, E17 by the way, if you're keeping track. If we go up to, you know, anti 15, we already have enough. And of course, we will be going into endless mode right now. <laughs> Alright, now in Anti-9, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to start with the Small Arcana. Small Arcana gives me a Fool, and so because I didn't use this Priestess, I can take a Fool here. So let's use the empress i'm actually just going to sell the priestess and then use the fool um, i'm going to hold on to this temperance um, well let's go arcana again there we go uh, so we did small arcana and then jumbo arcana if you do jumbo arcana first it has two fools in it and you can't have both so because we did the small one first here's another fool temperance and then another fool this, I think I'm gonna hold on to. So I need to reroll three times. So here's reroll once. Juggler for the, or the drunkard for the extra discard. That's huge, right? Extra discards, that's two extra tarot cards per round. Um, we can reroll twice. Here's the wheel. Uh, by the way, the way the uh, vouchers work, at least the upgraded vouchers, you know, folks say, you know, you should take the voucher so that it removes it from the pool and then you don't draw that voucher in the future. But if we take the tarot merchant previously in the run, this is the upgraded tarot merchant. And so it doesn't really remove it from the pool. You just see it again anyway, and you see the upgraded version instead, which also you still don't want. So I'm not gonna take it here and it doesn't matter. All right, uh, by holding on to this temperance, uh, I can use the wheel here. And then after the wheel, after picking up this additional holographic, I can use the temperance. And then go next. All right, this boss, play only one hand, we don't need to reroll. All right, now I'm just looking for my gold cards, so it's pretty straightforward. I just discard like this, sell the tarot cards. And these tarot cards I also don't need. Um, you know, I don't need death, for example. So we'll play this. Uh, ooh, we do have an extra discard, right? So maybe, I forgot we have the extra discard, so we can do this. Nice. All right, next, um, in this shop, the only thing I wanna do is reroll twice. So we no longer have hallucinations, so we don't need to worry about juggling our jokers and opening our booster packs here. I just wanna reroll two times. So let me make sure I'm on the correct round here. One, two, 
and then go next. So that's just progressing the shop queue in this ante, you know, spreading out our rerolls per shop. All right, in the next one, let's pick up some more tarot cards. All right, justice I don't need, temperance is always welcome. We do have another wheel. Um, another wheel which I'm not able to use because I don't have any valid jokers. Death card if I want it. got hermit here I've also got yeah so let's go hermit let's go arcana so how about we can go emperor here uh, another hermit sure Yeah, I'm just trying to think here. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go next. Okay. Tarot cards. What kind of tarot cards? Uh, we've got a fool for extra hermit if we want it. We've got... Another wheel that we can't use. And it's being suggested that I hold on to this hermit, I guess. Sure. So I'm trying to get, so this is the technology, right? We've got uh, you know, all these Pluto cards from the what is it, the observatory voucher or whatever. I'm trying to get as many points as I can with just Pluto cards, just the observatory. So I do want, right here I want voucher. I want the celestial for Pluto. And I want to reroll, it says four times. There we go. Hermit. I held on to the hermit in case there is a fool. I think there's a fool in the next round. All right, already up to 88 Pluto cards. Uh, this D level doesn't matter. Let's go next. There we go. Uh, hangman, if you want it. E. I think we sell the hangman and just use the fool. All right, priestess and emperor. I don't feel like doing the priestess, so I'll just use the emperor here. Um, Chariot, I don't need. If I want, I could do this with the death card, I guess, if I want to make aces. Like I said, there's the debuff boss in the future. Phase card, debuff boss. But it doesn't super matter, and we just play this. Go next. We got two celestial packs. The order doesn't matter. Level 26 and level 27 high card. Let's sell tower and chariot. 
and then re-roll three times. Okay. All right, discard. Ah, uh, fool for more Pluto. Hmm, that's okay. Emperor gives us temperance. Should be. Yeah, there we go. Temperance. Sell the devil. Emperor again? Mm. Yeah, let me think here. Uh, there's a fool in the shop. So I'm not going to use this emperor. I'm just going to go here with the gold card. Let's go one, two, three, perfect. All right, so a couple of things are gonna happen here. First thing that's gonna happen, uh, Drunkard is out because Banana is in, of course. And I wanna use this fool to get a Temperance card. So in order to do that, maybe this tower goes away. Maybe then we, use this we can go celestial pack after the celestial pack uh i'm gonna use the emperor all right priestess sure uranus no temperance sure all right so after all that uh that's it that's all we need that's all we need from anti 10. We got our second banana. Look at that. We already up to two bananas. Twice as much potassium. Now we only get the two discards per round. All right. So now, I'm trying to think here. Uh, is this what I want to do? Yes. Cool. All right, star and moon we can hold on to. We got a thousand, thousand bucks, team. Go us. All right, now I'm going to show you something truly unhinged, truly insane. So first, I'm going to buy the blank voucher. Then I'm going to buy this celestial pack. Uh, yeah, celestial pack for Pluto card. Okay. Then the Arcana pack. Arcana pack has Hermit. Okay. You know, nothing wild there. And then... I'm going to re-roll once for Temperance, and I'm going to re-roll 15 times. Ooh, that was exhausting. And then now, of course, you know, uh, now that we got a pair of bananas, obviously we sell one. So I could pick up this clown. <laughs> um, but then, if we reroll 11 times,
there's another banana. It's not just any banana, it's a holographic banana. And so the, uh, you know, the result there is we bought the clown so that we got the discounted reroll that made one reroll free and all future rerolls cost $1 less. So we'll sell the clown, get our banana back upgraded this time, and then keep rerolling. So if I reroll twice, there's a Pluto that I can pick up if I want. And then guess, guess, how many times are we gonna reroll now? I've got written down 17 times. <laughs> it's basically, we reroll until we're out of money. Which I think that does it, we're out of money. So now, all these Plutos that we've been holding, all this plutonium we've been stockpiling, uh, 30 bucks each because of this negative gift card that we had. So we'll sell one. Two, uh, we can use the temperance here. I need to reroll, I believe, three more times. So maybe sell another Pluto. One, two, so I did, you know, mess up a little bit the routing, so I had to sell more Plutos than I had written down, but that's okay. Um, I think we rerolled just one more time, and then that's it. That's it, we've done it. What have we done? Uh, if we go next, pick up some more Plutos. <laughs> so here it is. Here is the negative tag, and so we, we demonstrated this before. We did a little bit of reroll manipulation so that we were able to get the negative tag on specifically the gift card. Here, if we reroll 48 times or 49 times or something like that, it all in one shop, if we spend a thousand and plus dollars on rerolls, we get this negative tag. And then go next. All right. Um, let's pick up some tarot cards. Uh, I don't need this devil, fool, I'll go temperance. I think from now on, um, it doesn't really matter most of the tarot cards. So I'm gonna only go for temperance and then not use anything else. So, you know, that way if there's a fool card, the fool card will give me more temperance. Um, here we can go gold. Nothing, nothing else weird. Uh, so there it is. Without having to use ectoplasm, we got the negative nanner. We got more potassium. Welcome to the team. Um, I'm going to stop buying the celestial packs. You know, we already have the high card leveled up to 30, and so it doesn't really need to be any higher than that. And like I said, I want to save. I want to make sure my fool cards copy temperance rather than copying Pluto. I think there was one instance where I got an extra Pluto where I was supposed to get a temperance and then that's why you know I had to sell some extra Pluto cards. It cost me some money, you know, messing up the routing a little bit. By the way, after this point, um, I don't, you know, have the routing down like on a round by round basis. So, you know, we're just going to do a live. Um, but I do have a pretty good idea, a lot of stuff to expect. So now that we've done all this re-rolling, you know, the 50 re-rolls in the one shop to get the negative banana, now no more re-rolls. Uh, we just go next. Uh, for this boss here, we've got the uh, no discards means no tarot cards. So obviously we re-roll it. This is a fun one. Um, I guess this doesn't matter since we only have, you know, eight cards in the deck total. So here's Discarding, get rid of these, discarding, and then we'll get rid of those soon enough.
Okay, but that's not it. That's not it. We're not done yet. <laughs> Wait, there's more. Uh, if we go cash out here, we get... So you get back-to-back -back in Anti-11, you get the blank voucher. In Anti-12, you get the upgrade. We have the antimatter here. If we take the antimatter here, antimatter gives us more banana. <laughs> um, but wait, there's more. So how about let's reroll. I've written down 15 times. Do I trust me? So one two, three, oh no, wait, I need more money. All right, uh, if I reroll 15 times, we could pick up this brainstorm. You want a brainstorm? Okay, how about this? How about, um, let's sell another Pluto card. Because I, I want to have the money for the interest. How about instead of this banana, <laughs> how about instead of this banana, we, uh, we pick up this brainstorm instead. How do you feel about that, if we do that? Um, and then that way we can get another copy of Perkeo if we go next. How about this? How about instead of uh if we play we get five plutos that each one's worth 30 bucks so we get 150 bucks or what if we skip <laughs> how about discard here our right, fool for another temperance love to see it how about discard like this uh hermit um is not a temperance but i suppose i don't have to use it right now let's just play our high card How about this? How about, can I interest you in a polychrome banana? Rainbow Nana? And so obviously here, I think the move is we get rid of this brainstorm. Pick up the Rainbow Nana. Wait, I might have made a mistake. <laughs> uh, did we? Didn't we? Let's see. Um, uh, you know, I think I was not supposed to pick up the, the brainstorm, actually, to be honest. That's going to be a wrinkle. What's this Arcana pack have? Uh, that stuff doesn't matter. All right, let's roll some times. That way I can think about what I've done. Fool for more temperance? Sure. So, eh. Devil, get out of here. Fool for temperance. Now I can use, eh. Where is it? Ah, eh. oh, I had it. There we go. Use the hermit. Uh, use the Emperor. It's gonna get expensive. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, yeah, let's use the Temperance. Sell one of these Pluto cards. Actually, I gotta sell a lot of Pluto cards. We're going deep, team. There we go. Can I interest you in some ectoplasm? All 
Alright, let's go next. I have to remember where that ectoplasm is. Uh, wait, can I grab it? Yeah. If I put it on the left, will I be able to grab it? I'm just gonna move it to the front. Alright, let's go next. Alright, um, unfortunately now I only have the one slot. I think I was not supposed to sell the banana for the brainstorm. I was supposed to hold on to the banana. Unfortunate. Uh, here, we just get one card. Judgment I don't need. Maybe I'll discard two. Guarantee we get the gold card. Uh, wheel I don't need. While it's doing that, I'm going to take this opportunity to grab my ectoplasm. Actually, maybe, yeah, ectoplasm just on the left here is easier to grab. Nice. Uh, we can take the glow up voucher. Got a nice amount of money now. Um, in. Anti-13, okay, that's good news. Anti-13, we don't need to roll, so we'll just go next. Um, there is another negative tag here, but, you know, I wasn't able to get any negative that I was kind of interested in, so we'll just go next. All right, Justice, we don't need. Hierophant, we don't need. fine for what I'm trying to do. I think we still... So, we go Arcana. Fool for more Temperance, of course. Keep the Temperance chain going. And then go next. Yeah, if I still had the banana, if I hadn't sold it, then I would be able to use this ectoplasm and I would have the free, you know, consumable slots. Unfortunate. I guess there's technically, technically there's a chance that the ectoplasm gets copied by Percale, but it's not a great chance. <laughs> Alright, we have the boss coming up. Let's go Arcana. Uh, do I want Hermit? Sure, why not? Go next. Ah, uh, we got the stinker, we got the fool. All right, anti-14, we can do some re-rolls again. That's fine. As long as we have sufficient plutonium remaining. So here's what I'm thinking for anti-14. Anti-14, we get the boss re-roll voucher here. We can open up this Arcana pack. Let's try to find a Temperance. Mm, wheel instead, so I'm gonna skip. Uh, what's in this spectral pack? Nothing that we need. Let's go reroll twice. Oh, would you look at that? So 
So now we're at the point where maybe I don't need all of these Perkeos. You know, I still have plenty of plutonium stockpiled from earlier on. I still have the brainstorms copying this other Perkeo here. And so we can pick up the invisible Joker. We can reroll, let's see here. How about two more times? Three times? Nah, that's okay. Um, I think I'm gonna use this fool for the hermit and then go next. So now that we have the invisible joker, we wanna play every round. Uh, the plant debuffs our face cards. I do have a leftover queen that could have been an ace, but you know, I wasn't managing it very well to be completely honest. Hermit again. All right. All right, with all this plutonium that we have, it's gonna take us a little bit longer to process each hand, but you know, it's still less than a minute per hand. <laughs> All my bananas are safe. All right, in the next shop here, let's go Arcana, looking for Temperance. Nope, no problem. Uh, let's reroll a couple times. One, two, three. All right, that, that should be fine. Uh, let's go next. Priestess, get out of here. Moon, we don't need. Aha, so now we get rid of this brainstorm and we've got every flavor of banana. We've got a couple negative bananas, we've got the polychrome banana, foil holographic, nice. Uh, we could reroll here some, I don't think there's anything that we're trying to hit necessarily, so Proceed to anti-15. Let's go. Emperor? Nah. baby all right invisible jokers online uh, I'm not gonna use it yet okay we could pick up the voucher here we can use these spectral packs I'm not even sure what I would want from a spectral pack um, yeah I don't know hey you know aura could be all right how about this one Sure, why not? All right. I believe if I do this, we pick up another invisible joker. Invisible joker meaning I don't need this brainstorm. And go next. Uh, 
Ah, sad. Only one Pluto. That's okay. All right, what's the boss say? First hand is drawn face down. I don't think that's gonna be an issue for us. So let's just go next. Uh, boop. Death card. Ah, you know what? <laughs> uh, no, I shouldn't do it because of temperance. If it doesn't matter, I shouldn't do it. All right, uh, I didn't draw my gold card because I didn't discard enough cards. That's okay, here we go. This does mean I do have to survive the boss in order to get the invisible joker to go off. I'm never really gonna find that ectoplasm am I? Ugh. Oh there it is. Actually that wasn't that hard. <laughs> Okay, I believe if I wrote this down correctly, I believe we get rid of Perkeo here for the clown. That saves me a dollar. Actually, it saves me more than a dollar because it reduces all the future reroll costs. So let's go one. There it is. All right, this is what I meant to do. So here's eh, potassium, negative. And if you want, another one, how about that? Okay, a couple things, you know, just housekeeping here. I want to um, get rid of this gift card and I want to use the Invisible Joker. Um, I don't need the Showman anymore. Nice. I'm gonna organize them like this. Uh, this is, I guess I like the Polychrome best. Negative is fine, but you know, I like the vibrant colors of the polychrome here. Uh, I do like the foil. I think it's not bad. I think holographic looks gross. <laughs> it upsets me. Um, and we'll put the invisible joker on the right. And we can just uh, go next. So now that awkward situation where our hand size is two. I did think about, I did think about trying to get even more ectoplasm, even more negatives, but uh, it just wasn't in the cards. I did try my best. I hope, I hope you believe me that I did try. Same with that, that negative tag that we skipped. You know, I said we've used the negative tags to get the negative gift card and the negative banana. Um, I really did try on that other one. The first one was kind of hard, right? We had to reroll 50 times. I hope you feel the way that I do that it was worth it. Ooh, we got all this money. Um, I mean, we could reroll, but there's nothing really that I'm looking for. Maybe some wheels spin the wheel time maybe we pick up the oops all sixes <laughs> oh no my hand is face down all right they're both purple yeah show me a wheel I guess temperance is fine. I also tried, you know, I tried figuring out, okay, how many wheels does it take in order for me to get polychrome? You know, like if I just find 50 wheels, maybe I can get polychrome and uh, it wasn't working out. And so I ended up going for the polychrome tag, polychrome banana. Safe. All right, 
Uh, here we go. One more time. Banana. Nice. E hey, crystal ball. Um, I'm gonna re-roll here. So I mean, we've got what is it? You know, this is anti 16. We got the E20 or whatever it is. We got plenty of points. Um, what am I potentially looking for? I'm just looking for wheels. Show me some wheels. I'm just gonna spend the money. Hmm, cryptid doesn't help. Go bulls. I'm just gonna spend it all. Hey, shiny. Uh, another brainstorm if you want it. Man, a lot of polychromes in the shop. Oh, we did get the glow up voucher, right? Um, nope, that's gonna be it. Uh, we can go ahead, we can skip to the boss here. Could be very large. And I'm just gonna Do this. Ah, you know what? Might as well. All right, team. That's gonna be it. This is uh, this is the plutonium banana here. This is the power potassium. Let's go. essentially just these though I guess you know we do have the the telescope we got the observatory on the Plutos here so uh, for me that's gonna be it for this one um, I hope you had as much fun as I did uh, you know maybe this is not the most bananas that you've seen but this is the most bananas that I've seen maybe maybe I'll do it like that all right take care everyone <laughs>